In part 10 of our build guide, we unwrap the body harness and thin out the unnecessary wires. Use wire cutters to remove all of the zip ties. Work your way from one end of the harness to the other. Once all the clips are off, use a sharp knife to remove the plastic loom and electrical tape. When you unwrap the fuel system wires, tie them in a knot to keep them together. Continue stripping until the harness is unwrapped. Lay out the harness like we did to make it easy to locate the wires that will be removed. The first step is to pull out all of the airbag wires. Just look for the twisted wires attached to the bright yellow connectors. One at a time, unravel the airbag wires back to the large yellow airbag connector. You don't have to cut the airbag wires, just pull them free of the body harness. Cut the passenger seat wire about 20 inches back from the connector. Save this pigtail for later. Pull the two short wires out of the way. Trace and cut the pink wire out of the red BCM plug. Cut the driver's seat wires. Pull the seat wires back to the main airbag connector. Trace and cut the pink and tan wires out of the black and blue multi-plug. Pull the black ground wire out of the harness. The door connectors may vary depending on your donor options. If your donor had power windows, it will have the larger door connectors. Cut the twisted door wires from the main airbag connector and pull the wires back to the door plug. Cut out the door connector and remove the twisted wires.
Repeat this process for the other front door wires. If your donor was a sedan, you'll also need to find the rear door plugs. Remove all of the door wires. If your donor had power windows and locks, you'll have extra wires to remove. Cut the door ajar sensor plugs and remove the wires. Cut the last twisted wires from the main airbag plug. Trace and remove the wires. Cut the last wires attached to the airbag plug and remove it. You might have more wires than shown in the video depending on your donor's options. Trace and remove the last wires. Remove the antenna cable from the harness. Cut the black dash connector from the passenger side wires. Cut the black XM radio connector. Cut the white OnStar connector that is attached to the twisted black wires. Trace and remove the passenger side wires.
Remove the passenger side speaker wires. Remove the driver's side speaker wires. Untie the fuel system wires. Divide the fuel pump wires from the EVAP system wires. The pump wires are purple, tan, and a larger gray wire. Tie these together. If you live in a state that doesn't require emission equipment on custom vehicles, trace and remove the EVAP system wires. Otherwise, tie these wires together. If your fuel system wires are different, your donor was a partial zero emission vehicle. Check out our website for more information. Cut the white OnStar plug. Trace and remove the pink wire from the red BCM plug. Cut the black headliner plug. Trace and remove the green, gray, and blue wires from the red BCM plug. Cut the trunk light connector. Trace the pink wire back to the T and cut it. Cut the trunk release connector. Trace and remove the orange and tan wires. Trace and remove the defroster wire. This wire will be used to extend the radiator fan wire later in the build.
Cut the black OnStar connector and trace the wires. Cut the green wire from the white BCM plug. Remove one pair of twisted wires from the black and blue multi plug. Do not cut the pair of twisted wires from the black and purple multi plug. Roll up these wires so you can use them later. Remove the purple, black, and green wiper motor wires from the white plug. Cut the yellow wire and remove it from the white BCM plug. In the next video, we'll start reworking the wiring harness to fit the goblin.